Junkfoodtaster.com, episode 2531, and this is Kinder Surprise again, and this time it's Lord of the Rings The Two Towers Edition. And this is uh, packed in a fancy way, so it looks like a book from the outside, since Lord of the Rings is actually a book, it's very nice. And I think these two figures will be in here, the Saruman, the Sorcerer, and uh, Baumart, the end. So, on the back side it says there will be also a game, which I will be playing with Professor Banbang. Yep, we be funny. So, let's go straight forward. I already have some uh, Lord of the Rings figurines from our other unboxing. You may have seen it. Um, so, let's open this. Yeah, it's still originally packed uh, with uh, even with a plastic film around it. It was lying around for, I think, over 10 years now. <laughs> Bought it on eBay. So, it's old Surprise X again. So let's open this book. Aha, uh -huh, this is like the gaming board. Okay, this is like the rules of the game. Okay. And here are the seven eggs. Yeah, nice quality, I think. Um, yeah, it's cool. This is, of course, uh, from the movie. All the characters, but first I will unwrap the eggs here. So, like I said, seven of them, and there's like a map in the background here, Middle Earth. Very nice, really awesome packed Kinder Surprise eggs. Let's drop this old eggs. And because they're very old and I somehow don't... Ah, this must be the special ones. Yep. I really don't want to touch the old ones, so I'm using gloves. Yep, this stripe here, I'm seeing this the first time. Uh, let's unwrap them. Yeah. Already falling apart. Look how yellow it is, and it's like the old shell. Okay, here we go. This is not a special surprise. This is a, a alien, a funny alien. I will. Oh, it's, I think it can do something. I will check it out. Uh, check it out in a minute. Okay. Yeah, if you are like a collector, I think uh, you wouldn't buy on eBay the or originally packed stuff. But like for me as unboxing, I'm like this is a retro unboxing. So what is this? Some sort of robot. But I'm for the quest of the uh, Lord of Rings related stuff first. Of course. Of course I want to have Lord of the Rings. So this is also not Lord of the Rings. But there must be a lot of things in there, we just have to be patient. Yeah, patience is everything in life. So here we go. So the fourth one. Ah, hours later, yeah, here we go. There's yet another uh, mechanic toy. So, last three ones. It's really uh, bad luck ruins my review somehow. So the most interesting part of the end, I think. Okay, <laughs> this is the best of luck you can have. So this is some sort of plush duck or something here, plush zombie. But now the last two of them must be now Lord of the Rings related. Otherwise, this would be a scandal. They said exclusive Lord of the Rings figures, so they must be in there. Okay, and this is now the Saruman figure. Okay, like they promised. Good. 
and I think I will finish off first here. And this must be now the tree, the end. Yep. Okay. Yep, and here's the tree. So cleaning up. All right, so let's check out the surprises. So first of all, here comes Saruman. And Saruman is really kind of complicated. The first steps are rather easy, putting the arms into his body. And here's the second one. And then it start, starts to get a little bit um, strange. The direction says this is like a, a clip for isolating and you have to pull it. So I just pull it, all right. Um, yeah, you can press then the button and it glows. Very nice. <laughs> After 10 years, it still glows. Close. Uh, good job. And then you put Saruman into his uh, rest of the body. <laughs> Saruman is a robot. <laughs> okay. And at the bottom you have this um, plastic stand, whatever. So this is a, I think this is the most awesome surprise ever put in a, at least what I found here. Look at this. I will uh, like um, make the room dark so that we can see it better. What do you think about the professor? Oh, he's so evil. What's he doing? He's talking with the evil, uh, the evil eye on the on the other tower. Oh, where's the ring, by the way? I don't know. All right, let's check out Saruman when it's dark. Here we go. Yeah, isn't it spooky? Really, this is the best ever, what I ever found in the Kinder Surprise Egg. Yep, definitely awesome. And like kinda, kinda um, cheesy, but I think it's awesome. Oh, yep. Yeah. Hmm. All right, let's check out the other stuff. Okay. So the second important thing is of course the entry, which consists of nine pieces. Let's do it. So this is like his, his head. And then he got arm elements. Here are the arm elements. Um, I'm not quite sure whether it's idea proof. I don't think so. Um, yeah, in comes arm. Oh, this is super, super tight here. Oh, it really hurts the finger. So I did it off air. Yeah, you need a massive force to get it in the in the junctions together. Um, yeah, but I think it's really cool. Very nice detail. So let's continue with the arms here. The very big arms with big hands. All right. Okay, this was easy. And here's the second one. And now it's ah, now it's junction time again here, like the leg junctions. I think this will be tricky. Yeah, can you see it? You have to force it that hard in here. So I did it. So the next one, please. Yeah, this is, this is, I think this is, this is really um, premium stuff, yeah. As the next to Saruman, this is the second best thing I ever found in a Kinder Surprise. Awesome. Yes. Oh, excuse me. So here comes the tree. <laughs> Can't really move, but hey, it's a moving tree. And you can make a little role play. Three versus Saruman. And Saruman is talking to the evil eye. The evil, I don't know, the evil force. Hello, hello, how are you? I need help, I need help. And the tree just says, Bam! 
<laughs> okay, so let's check out all. Uh, is it like, what do you want to do? Do you want to play the game first, or do you want to check out the other surprises first, Professor? The other surprises in the end of the game. Okay, so we do it. So I think this is like the uh, easiest thing to show at least. So this is just, I think, a little plush. <laughs> You would call avatar and you can put your finger in and then you can make there's like a little puppet. Can I really put my finger in here? I think so. And yeah, here. Yeah. It also says Yeah, finger freaks. Very interesting. Finger freaks. So now you can talk to the finger freak professor. Hello, how are you? <laughs> Are you crazy? <laughs> Let's stop that. Okay, um, so this was the finger freak. <laughs> What's next? Um, I think we go from this here. This is just about holding um, yeah, a string, a cord. So here, on your back or on your, on your shoe or whatever. So... I need to get a yeah yeah for instance on the trousers then you can put up your custom no it's too big oh fail and yeah it works here here we go it's very trashy and cheesy and everything is cheesy today but somehow cool this is like a yeah, kind of surprise is still cool and back in the day yeah this is back in the day ten years ago. Okay, next toy. The next toy is a so-called air racer, and it seems to be a really interesting concept. So first of all, you're putting uh, together some sort of yeah car or bullet. Let's call it a bullet. And here we go. And this must be it. Uh, so turning this around, putting it in. So, and the second uh, component of this toy is this um, gummy, um, yeah, what is this, Kevin, this is like to produce um, pressure here, yeah. to shoot this bullet, so let's do it, so I'm trying to drive with it to the professor, so. Yeah, and you, I think if you punch harder, it gets, you can shoot it wider. Yep. So this is very interesting, I think. Never seen it before. It's like, a, it's like the same concept of an air rifle. Yeah. All right, so yeah, just awesome surprises this time around. Um, so the next thing will be this here. What is this? The fish, the strange fish. Okay, it's uh, some sort of fun gadget, and you put together uh, this case, and here we go. And yeah, consists of two parts basically. This goes in here. So, and this is fish tail goes in here. Yeah, quite, quite a technology. And there's uses rubber. We'll then have to uh, provide some energy that if you pull the tail of the fish, then the box opens. <laughs> this really doesn't make sense. Uh, it's about it's a, like a trick. You put on this sticker. So you put the cheeky fish on top here. Okay, you put the cheeky fish on top, and inside you put this um, mermaid. Where's where she gone? Here's this mermaid. Um, so in the end you end up with this cheeky trick here. Um, yeah, the mermaid plopping out. <laughs> I think kinda 
kind of useless, useless little toy, a little bit sexist. <laughs> and it's broken. Why is it broken? Oh, can I repair it? Yeah, here it goes again. Yeah, please share your thoughts on this kind of surprise. It's really a surprise now. Okay. Uh, last but not least, is this strange machinery here. What is this all about? Let's read the directions. This is all about, <laughs> I think, a super sophisticated robot. Look at this. Yep, the space crawler. All right, let's assemble it. So the first step is putting in this arm. I'm kind of lucky the gears are already attached. So let's put it in here. And um, here, kind of tricky. So here we go. Um, second step is yeah, putting this um, mechanic stuff uh, through it. So here we go. Yeah, I'm sorry, vocabulary very much lacking. I can tell you in German it's a Nockenwelle. <laughs> oh, I'm not quite sure. Oh, this is super hard again. So this is really kind of interesting now. Here. Yeah. Little plastic. <laughs> Performing awesome performances. <laughs> Now this uh, yeah this robot helmet comes on. So here we go. Here we go. This looks like ah look at this. There's somebody sitting in the head of the robot, controlling it. Yeah, it's like a, I think a war machine or something. And now the legs yeah now in the end you attach the legs to the yeah just to the things here. Yep, it's, it's, it doesn't matter, every leg is the same. So just attaching it. <laughs> Let's see what it can do. I think it's just symbolic. You just um, move around. I'm not quite sure. It doesn't. I think I put it here. Yeah, you put it on the tail. And then it seems to walk in its own. It's not really functional. What do you think about this? Looks this real or not? Could this be a real fighting robot? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think they are kind of interesting toys this time around. Nice stuff. Um, what do you think, Professor? What's your favorite? My favorite is, of course, Saruman! Okay, and then this, I think. Yep. And also other crappy toys, what do you like the most? Just yes, the air rifle, the air car. Okay, let's. You can try it yourself, Professor. Thank you. <laughs> let's play the game now. Alright, so here's the game. And they put in the rules here. Uh, I think it's fairly simple. Uh, um. All right, I just read it. Uh, it's kind of sophisticated. So first of all, there are two parties: the uh, evil ones, uh, led by the evil sorcerer. Saruman and you can start with up to four, four figures and then you run up here and this are actually here if like something happens it says here um, you can go for more um, as here four more places and so on and so forth and in the middle it's kind of strange and like it's it's about uh, of course the ring the ring is in the middle i think it's about whether the dark side or the good side is first catching the ring and the good side is of course led by this this, this, this baum here this is this three okay i think i don't want to play it would be some sort of boring 
And they're like, ah, oh, it wouldn't be boring. It would be exciting. Yeah. But I have another argument, Professor. I don't have a cube, a dice. Yeah, here, yeah, no dice. Yeah, uh, if you have played it back in the day, then let me know. It's a nice idea, I think. And uh, I have also this other figurines that you could use as well, then. The tree is a little bit big to stand on these fields here. Okay. So, that was the review, thanks for watching, and yeah, it's a nice thing that actually the, the evil side can win as well, I think, uh, where was this, they, this particular movie put this team uh, good against evil a little bit too far, yeah, this is kind of like no, I like the, I like the orcs very much, <laughs> no one has mercy for the orcs, I don't know. So, that's it. Thanks a lot. Schon. Gut, das ist jetzt das Herr der Ringe super Spezialbuch und zwar die zwei Türme. Und hier sind sieben Überraschungseier drin gewesen. Hier hat man nochmal Mittelerde. Ja, sehr schön. Alles sehr schön gemacht. So. Und man hat auch so ein Spiel mit dabei. Es gibt aber Spielregeln sind kompliziert. Ich meine, könnt ihr das Video mal stoppen und euch das durchlesen. Es ist nicht so ganz ohne. Im Kreis gelten dann nochmal eigene Regeln und so. Der Professor wollte es unbedingt spielen. Aber ich habe ich hab vor allem keinen Würfel. Ne? Es ist ja letztes Mal schon in die Hose gegangen, Spiel zu spielen. Ich denke mal, das will auch sich niemand angucken im Internet. Äh, okay. <lacht> Wollt ihr euch das angucken, wie ich in der Professor hier ein Brettspiel spiele? Bei dem, bei dem letzten hier, bei dem... Bei dem Shrek, wo ja auch die CD dabei war, hat irgendeiner geschrieben, er will sehen, wie ich dann das Spiel spiele, die Demo da. <lacht> genau, äh, ist natürlich, wann kam das raus? 2002, also elf Jahre alt, dementsprechend auch die Eier elf Jahre alt. All die Überraschungseier, ihr habt es ja gesehen, die vergilben dann so. Die stinken auch ziemlich. Und, aber die Überraschungen, die hier drin waren, die waren ja so endcool. Also das coolste überhaupt, was ich jemals im Überraschungsei gefunden habe, war drin, dieser Saruman. Und jetzt ohne Quatsch, nach elf Jahren, wenn man hier drauf drückt, leuchtet immer noch die Lampe. Das nenne ich fett. Ja, das ist irgendwie das Telefon mit dem, mit diesem, der dunkle Herrscher. Genau. Und hier ist der Baum, das ist halt auch, das ist dafür, eine normale, Figur, also eine normale Figur ist so groß und dieser Baum ist einfach mal doppelt so groß. Hier diese, diese Gelenke hier einzustecken, das war vollkommen schwer, aber am Ende hat man einen coolen Baum. So. Genau. Allgemein scheint mir es fast sowieso zu sein, dass die, äh, die alten Sachen aus dem Überraschungsei alle mehr oder weniger cooler sind als heute. Heute hat man immer diese Wurfgeschosse und so drin, was irgendwie totaler Schrott ist. Und früher, guck mal, früher gab es so ein Luftschussgerät, äh, so ein Luftteil, guck mal. Wie man also, also wie ein Luftgewehr, bloß mal mit dem Auto, wenn man ihn drauf drückt, fährt das raus. Und dann hat man noch hier diesen Quatsch, das ist so eine Art Überraschung. <lacht> ja, das ist halt... Das das ist halt so ein Fisch, und dann, ah, oh, das ist schon ein bisschen sexistisch so. Ich weiß nicht, ob man das heute noch so machen würde. Ja, würde bestimmt gleich eine Femin-Frau sagen und sagen, nein, wie könnt ihr nur? Genau. Und auf alle Fälle, da hat man noch diese, diese Handpuppe, das, nennt, das ist lustig. Das nennt sich Freaky, wie nennt sich denn das? Hier, das hier. Freaky Finger Freaks heißt das. <lacht> ja, dann kann ich dann noch besser sich unterhalten. Ich unterhalte mich nicht doch mal. Okay. Kannst, kannst du mir das über den Finger machen, Professor? Ah, du hast zu so dicke Finger. Danke, ich nehme es trotzdem. Okay. Äh, gut, was war noch drin? Das, das, das. Zwei Sachen müssen noch fehlen. Dann dieser Roboter. Der von der Meka Mechanik, sag ich schon, Mechanik ziemlich cool ist. Und hier oben ist einer drin. Ja. Das ist so wie die Oldschool-Movies in den 60s. Die Roboterarmee greift an. Und dann fasst man hinten am Schwanz an. Und dann 
wenn man Glück hat, bewegen sich die Beine so, als würde der laufen. Genau, was fehlt jetzt noch? So, und last but not least dann noch dieses Teil. Das kann irgendwie so halt was festhalten. Zum Beispiel eine Schnur. Genau. Ja, das war's im Wesentlichen mit diesem Herr der Ringe. Habt ihr den Film gesehen? Habt ihr das Buch gelesen? Habt ihr damals das gehabt? Und so weiter und so fort. Und ja, danke, dass ihr zugesehen habt. Und bis demnächst. Tschüssi.